for Highway. George Lewis, NBC News, Augusta, Georgia. And for those of you with access to the Internet, we do invite your comments. The address for NBC Nightly News on the email circuit is NBC Nightly at NBC.GE.com. Nightly at NBC.GE.com. In other news tonight, McDonald Carey died today of lung cancer. He was 81 years old. He made more than 60 movies, acted on Broadway, and worked in radio. But he will be best remembered as Dr. Tom Horton on the NBC soap opera Days of Our Lives, in which he acted from the day it debuted in 1965. When we come back, a California community mobilizes against a paroled rapist. Naked Gun 33 and a third, the final insult tops the new box office box score with over 13 movies during a career spanning nearly 60 years, died today at his home in Beverly Hills. He was 81 years old. At his home in Beverly Hills, he was 81 years old. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. His voice will be missed by millions. Since 1965, he was heard each weekday launching yet another episode of Days of Our Lives. This is where we started, Francis. You were here, and I was, I was in this chair. 25 years ago. Well, there's nothing against togetherness. Just you and me, I mean. As the family patriarch, Dr. Thomas Horton, Carey became America's favorite daytime physician. But that's not where his career began. When I came here to this town to find the man, I hadn't counted on you. He was the first bona fide movie star to appear as a regular in a soap opera after a long career in radio, television, and film that included roles opposite Marilyn Monroe, Shelley Winters, Ruth Hussey, and Ray Milland. Harry won two Emmys for his work on Days, but his life was not without trouble. In 1982, he overcame a long bout with alcoholism, which he said caused the breakup with his wife, actress Betty Heckscher. Yet, Carey turned his adversity into an uplifting 1991 autobiography, The Days of My Life. It's amazing, the supportive thing that you feel, and, and it also brings you down to size. You, you realize that you're just another human being like somebody else.